It's a story you'll only see on NBC 26. The cleanup continues from Hurricane Matthew in Florida. Now, people's lives were absolutely devastated by that damage. And as they continue to put their lives back together, you made a difference through the NBC 26 Hurricane Matthew Relief Drive. Thousands of people are getting the help they need. Eric Kress takes a closer look at your impact on the Florida community. We are very concerned about storm surge. And the worst effects are still likely to come. The warnings were as clear as a cloudless Florida sky. They were saying that we were in the path of this hurricane. But warnings or the preparation taken. I basically told my tenant, water's going off, power's going off, gas is being turned off, you've got 20 minutes, get out. Nothing could prevent what was inevitably headed their way. And I could see just the waves crashing and water going through cars. We have actually had water before come up, but we have never had it to come into the house. The 100 mile per hour winds combined with the high tide pushed about three to four feet of the Atlantic into countless homes in St. Augustine, leaving just about every home seen here in need of new drywall, new floors, and help. The water took away way too much. We've lost everything. From some. Here in St. Augustine, for homeowners along the water, like this block here, well, they were really hit hard when Hurricane Matthew struck a few weeks back. Some of these homes deemed a complete loss. The cleanup and the help began immediately. Now all the church groups have been here. The Red Cross has been through, of course. Uh, you see the Salvation Army. Even in Northeast Wisconsin, we help do our part for those in need. A Northeast Wisconsin couple, professional semi-drivers, came up with the plan. It was really nice to see it go from just a little bitty idea into this big, huge thing where everybody's donating and giving of their time and items for everybody else. It was wonderful. Filling this semi with relief items to be sent 1,300 miles down south, this semi load meant more than your typical cargo. It was definitely one of those trips that was a very important trip that had to delay. And when the truck arrived, just about three weeks after the hurricane struck, the Salvation Army in Jacksonville truly could not have been more grateful. We saw a significant drainage on our pantry. I'll be honest, we were starting to uh, bite our nails a little bit because it was getting down quite low. And when we shared with Floridians what compelled Northeast Wisconsin to do what little we could to help when they needed it the most, the reactions were priceless. It blows my mind, actually, because some people just blocks away didn't realize how devastating this particular neighborhood was. But. Green Bay, my gosh, how far away is Green Bay? And while temperature, scenery, and time zones separate Wisconsin and Florida, we all seem to get through tragedies the same, through the help of good people who care, and of course, the right attitude. It's hard to deal with, but we'll do it, we'll get through it. We know that things aren't important, and we're just thankful lives were lost. Keeping you connected in St. Augustine, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26. Absolutely incredible. The Salvation Army in Jacksonville says you donated more than 12,000 pounds of food, cleaning supplies, and other essentials. Everything but the food, which is being sorted, is currently being distributed to those in need. They say they're impressed by the amount of canned vegetables collected, which they were extremely short on. Together, we helped make a difference, and we want to say thank you.